Hi, it's Brenda from Burns Valley Herbals and Retreat. Welcome to the perfect place for your mind, body, and soul. Hey everyone, it's Brenda from Burns Valley Herbals and Retreat. And today we're going to be preparing some Golden Years tea. Uh, we are going to be starting out with, of course, my favorite base is Mountain Mint. To watch not to run the camera over. Okay, usually I take about two cups depending on uh, how many tea bags I want to make. Um, put that in a mountain mint. Mountain mint has a nice mellow uh, base and taste to it. Mm, it smells great. Next we're going to put a little stinging nettle in. And here I should show you some mountain mint close up. Close up mountain mint. And here is some stinging nettle close up. I usually put in like a half a cup smash down of uh, stinging nettle. Stinging nettle, obviously I'm touching it. It's not stinging me. Once it dries, it's, it doesn't sting you. Uh, maybe every once in a while you might have a little ping, but definitely not like when it's fresh. You need leather gloves to pick it. It is viciously stinging and it stings and stings and stings. Next, I put in a little uh, ginkgo, uh, dried ginkgo leaf. That's what it kind of looks like now. Ginkgo, there's a lot of ginkgo trees around. And um, they say you pick the leaf after the second frost. So I'll put in some ginkgo. Ginkgo is good for longevity. So that's why it's golden years. And then we got a little bilberry leaf in here. Uh, bilberry is very good for your eyesight and as you know usually you start re getting reading glasses so let's hope that helps for that and we have some gutu cola which is excellent um, for longevity put some of that in this is what it is dried it's like a little leaf and um, I grow some but I'll tell you what um, you don't get much out of it. Uh, you need a lot of it. And then one of the last things we have is foti or Chinese knotwood. It's a root. Um, it's kind of invasive at times, but uh, the deer love it. I have tried to grow Chinese knotwood out here and they come and pull it out all the time. They eat the tops. And, you know, since it's young, all the roots go with it too. So we're going to put oh, a couple tablespoons of this in. Because this they discovered uh, in China, and the people who were drinking it on a daily basis, most of them lived to 100. Now, that's what I've heard, um, tales of it. So, um, you know how that is. You have to research and make sure that um, that's a fact. But I haven't heard anything but wonderful things about Chinese knotwood or bow tie, which is called. And, of course, we had a little sweetener, stevia leaf. Put a couple in here and mix, mix, mix. So this is nice because it's not all green. You have a little bit of different color to it. And there you go. Golden years. Like and subscribe.